<laughs> I really hope my street cred with the school is going up right now. Street cred? <laughs> Normal cred, eh. Question it alone. According to our poll, the singular form of broccoli <laughs> is indeed broccolis. Nobody asked that. Wait, really? Yeah. <gasps> it's okay. Okay. I, I'm I'm Edwin. And I'm leaving. Okay. It's March 13th. Please rise for more science and devotion. <laughs> Cut off, yeah. cuts off and suddenly it's too long. That clip is terrible. I hate it. A lot. Yeah. Just kidding, it's great, but I hate it. Really? <coughs> Ethan, what you doing? I want to walk in. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Sir Sharmock is a charity event run by the National Honor Society. <clears throat> Over the years, Sir Sharmock has raised money and awareness <clears throat> for the American Cancer Society, Alzheimer's Society, Shriver's Pediatric Hospital, the Humane League, and many more organizations that help support our society's needs. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Each Sir Sharmock candidate will try to win your support and donations for their charity. This year, our candidates are Seth Bollinger, hey. Ethan Brubaker, Aaron Cummings, AJ Morales, and Mark Shuskowski. You can vote for your favorite candidate by placing your extra change or dollars in their charity jugs at lunch, March 12 through 16. Good to see you there. At the end of the competition, the Sir Shamrock candidate with the most donations will win the contest. We crown Sir Shamrock live at 4 a.m. to make a huge donation of all the money raised by all five candidates to his chosen charity. Emperor, what are you doing here, you silly goose? Stay tuned this coming week for videos of each Sir Shamrock candidate. They will share your, they will share with you why you should use your donations to vote for their charity. Don't forget to vote at lunch all of this week. Oh, I didn't see you there. Tomorrow, a representative from Marywood University will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with this representative, please see Mrs. Dinsler in the counseling office. What are you doing here, you <laughs> sly goose? Have you ever wanted to help dogs and cats? 
I know I have. The Cloister Emma Bay is holding a pet supply donation drive for the pet pantry of Lancaster County. Donations that are accepted include... Mm. Hey, unopened dog and cat food, food and water dishes, toys, scotch tape, paper towels, gently used blankets and towels, kitty litter, leashes and collars, and Dawn dishwashing soap. What a coincidence seeing you here. Donations are being accepted now until March 30th. Donation boxes are located in the high school lobby, Conestoga Animal Hospital, and the Effort of Public Library. The Cloister FFA thanks you in advance for thinking of the animals. Is that you? You've noticed some changes as we packed up the media center reservation. The time has come. It's looking emptier than my DMs. All classes, study halls, flex obligation times, NHS passes, etc. will no longer be extended in the library beginning March 19th. The last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is March 16th. Thanks for your understanding. Be prepared to create a fantastic space for you. Now we're going to Seth, please sign the Ethan's DMs following her. Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> and see you there. I was just sliding into Jeremy Bischoff's DMs. <laughs> uh, Turkish forces have announced the success of a plan to encircle Kurdish forces in Afrin, a city in northern Syria. It has been several weeks now since Erdogan began his international offensive against the Syrian Kurds and invaded Syrian territory due to Kurdish to Turkish paranoia over the regional Kurdish militias growing power in northern Syria. Turkey also claims that they have ties to the, P K the PKK, a Kurdish leftist successionist party in southern Turkey that opposes the Erdogan regime. The veracity of this claim is unknown, but doubtful. Kind of like me sliding into Ethan's DMs. On this day in 1942, the quartermaster, quartermaster corps of the U.S. Army began to train dogs with a new war dog program called the Canine Corps. Get it? Because canine, dog, and then canine. Yeah. While over a million dogs have served in World War I, carrying messages throughout the mazes of trenches and providing psychological comfort to the soldiers. The practice of training dogs was abandoned until World War II, when the quartermaster corps was tasked with gearing the seven accepted breeds of dog for war. If you're interested, look up Chips, the German Shepherd, the hero of the canine unit who was awarded the Silver Star and the Purple Heart. What a guy. Or dog. <laughs> now over to the main desk with lunch. Ephrata, is that you? For lunch today, we have a carnitas burrito roll, grilled chicken patty slash cheese slash wood roll, Papa Juan's pizza, and bologna and cheesy sandwich. Ephrata, is that you? Whoa! Uh, we also have fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin, buffalo chicken salad, fiesta beans, steamed broccoli, grape tomatoes, dip, sorted fresh fruit, or that, Seth. Slushy! Switch the camera to me! Okay. <laughs> Way to pick up on the hint there. That was so good. <laughs> that, that, was, uh, that was well done. I'm kind of surprised at you. I like that one, actually. Oh, hey, I did not see you there. <laughs> In sports resorts, boys tennis team opened their season yesterday versus Northern Lebanon, but we don't have a score. And sometimes it's just not about the score, sometimes it's about, it's about doing your best. <laughs> Today in sports, volleyball and baseball are at home and lacrosse is away at Spring Grove. Now back to the main desk. Ocalico? Oh, yeah, it's Ephrata. Oh, yeah. Attention all students currently enrolled in AP courses. This Friday, March 16th, is the deadline to register for this year's AP exams. If you are interested, shut up, Ethan. Be sure to see your AP teacher or stop by the counseling office for an exam order form and AP student bulletin.